what brings you in today? Um, I have a really sore throat and my whole body aches, and so I just wanted to make sure that it's not strep. So for my baby's sake and so that I don't spread it at work. Work, huh? Yeah, I um, got a job at the Invader, at least. I think I still have a job. Things didn't exactly go very well my first day. <laughs> <laughs> and spreading an infection to the whole staff of the paper might be the last straw. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, um, let's take a look at you then. <laughs> Already working, huh? Uh, yeah, I wish I didn't have to. I hate the idea of leaving Ace. Well, do you? I mean, do you have to work? I mean, Ace is a Cassidine. Well, I mean, Ace is my son, and I want to make sure that Spencer can't take him away from me by claiming I'm unfit or lacking the resources to raise him. Well, that's exactly my point. I mean, you do have resources. In the eyes of the law, anyway. W what do you mean? Okay, let me get a big ah. Uh... Ah, uh, good. Okay. Accepting financial support from your baby's father, it doesn't make you unfit. I I'm just terrified that I'll lose Ace. You have rights, right, says May. But anyway, as far as your throat, it does look irritated. I don't think it's strep, though. But we're going to do a culture just to make sure, OK? And what about the muscle aches? You endured a horrible ordeal when Ace was kidnapped, right? Well, so did you. Yeah. Yeah, I did. And I had trouble sleeping. I had trouble eating. Did the same thing happen for you? It was awful. I mean, my baby coming home was all I could think about. I think you're under a lot of stress right now. I did have a panic attack at work yesterday. How are things going at home? I'd imagine living with Spencer and Laura, pretty tense, right? I mean, it's not the best situation, no. Um, I actually tried to leave the other day. Have they threatened to cut you off? If you decide to leave town? Uh, just the opposite. Spencer says he'll follow me wherever I go. In my opinion, you need to do what's best for you and that baby. I agree, but Laura does have a good point. I mean, I can't take care of Ace all by myself, and if I leave town, then I'll have to get a full-time job. But maybe not. People need money to eat and to buy clothes and put a roof over their head. Yes, of course. But do you honestly think that Spencer would let his baby brother go hungry? I don't want to be dependent on anyone. I respect that. I really do. But maybe moving out of Port Charles with your baby would be better for you. Sounds to me like you'd be more comfortable without Ace's family watching your every move. Someone's gonna call you with the result of your throat culture, and in the meantime, here's a prescription. It's gonna help you manage your pain. Thank you. So just, you know, eat healthy fluids and nutrient-rich foods. Okay. So take care of yourself and that baby. Will do. And um, I'll think about what you said. 